Tin of the Belair team. Chris Taylor, no doubt when you've already advanced. Might put you slightly at ease as we have a look at the Manchester High starting lineup. They go with a 4 3 3. Sajai Ashman, the captain, Malachi Hudson, Devonte Vidal, and Rashid Harriet at the back. Shamaya Salmon, the England born player, along with Rian Webb and Tyrese Douglas in the middle. Javier Newman, Daryl Davidson, and Adrian Campbell, the front three. Patrick Graham is the coach of this Manchester High team. Belair come into this with a 4-3-3 formation as well. Javon Deering will be in goal for them. They're back for Ralston Foster at left back. Rasheen Francis at right back. Orlando Gray and Javon Lewis in the center of their defense. Daniel Brown, Adin Windet and Fonte Johnson in the middle with Christian Henry, Ajwani War and Raheem Smith up front. They're coached by Garth Burke. So the full match highlights. Referee Bees are the man in charge. Manchester in their brown and yellow coming forward. And after two minutes, well, this was after the first minute. Great chance for their leading goal scorer, Javier Newman. And he put it wide. A minute later, he would convert his 16th of the season. First touch magnificent, second touch clinical. Just 16 years of age, and he matches his age in terms of goals. Left footed toe poke into the back of the net after two minutes. Manchester with the lead yet again against Belier. Beat them 4 1 earlier in the season, their only loss of the season up to this point. Belier. And Manchester taking lead. Then Belier, an opportunity in the area, but again, strong defending. This time it was Rashid Harriot for Manchester, their number four, their left back, getting in the play. Second half action now in the 62nd minute. Mistake from goalkeeper Kamak, who really didn't come out for the second half with the same energy that he had in the first. And this wasn't strong enough goalkeeping. Credit though to Christian Henry, who made the most of the opportunity. Just look at how he swiveled here quickly and released the right foot shot to earn his eighth goal of the season and bring Belier Lear. Well, level. Again, Henry from the wide area. And this was more of a miscued pass over the top. It would stay for one all for quite a while. And then Manchester tightened the screws and earned this penalty. Their main man, Javier Newman, earning the penalty. He was a menace. Not the best of penalties, but they all count once they get fully beyond that goal line. And it was his second of the afternoon, 17 on the season. And in the 90th minute, Manchester, yeah, they were sealing the points. In stoppage time, this opportunity. Newman again with the strike, saved by the keeper. Then a second strike, which was deflected out for a corner. Yeah, his teammates think he should, thought he should have passed it. But he was really the best play on the park for Manchester and then this put himself in the area again it looked as if it was a hat-trick initially but it was actually an own goal off the boot of Orlando Gray into the back of the net it still counts for Manchester it's three goals for them it's three points for them it's ten wins out of ten the Paris champions 3-1 after 90 minutes It's been blue skies all day, and it remained blue for Manchester High. 3-1 over Belair, 9 on target from 18 attempts for Manchester, 5 from 13. The game really got exciting in the latter part of that second half, where it became a lot more open. 19 fouls for Ibiza was quite busy. He only produced two yellow cards, one each. Salmon and Lewis, the culprits. Four saves for either keeper. And Manchester with 56% of the possession. They have the majority of the goals as well. 3-1. They win for a perfect 
10 from 10 first round performance. Let's hear from our waterman of the match, who is with Kimani O'Sullivan, none other than Javier Newman. Thank you, Chris. I'm joined by a man of the match from Manchester High, Javier Newman. This belongs to you, sir. Congrats on the goals. Javier, I have to ask you, at the end, did you think you got the hat-trick? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, it turned out to be an own goal, but speak to me about how prolific you've been in front of goal. How are you so laser sharp in front of goal when you get the chances? Well, I'd say the training that I get from my coach, it well, he helped me a lot, lot. So, and my teammates helped me a lot. Like without my teammates, it wouldn't be possible to score as much goals. How good does it feel to finish unbeaten without getting a loss this season? Well, it's a good feeling with the work that we have put in. So I'd say it's a good feeling. Any celebrations later for the unbeaten run? Yes, most definitely. What are you going to do? Well, go up at the dorm, eat some dinner, then all of just all of vibes. And what's your go-to dinner choice? Maybe fried chicken, rice and peas. All right, all right, thank you. Yeah, Javier Newman, the goal-scoring hitman there for Manchester High, came out victors. I'm joined by Coach... Burke here, another victory, coach, which means you're, you've won all the games in the group once again. How good does it feel? Um, we actually lost two games in the zone. Um, we lost to the eventual zone winners, but it was a pretty good season. We did better than we did last year in terms of points of accumulation, goals scored, and overall quality of play. And in terms of looking forward to the group, You've already gone through um, to the second round. Is this something you look to build up on now? Most definitely. Um, we went through last year and it's now back to back um, qualification to the second round. This time, our intention is to go past the second round into the quarterfinal round and see how, 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 how things can go from there. Well, you've been improving in the program thus far. What's the secret to the constant improvement by your camp? It's just believing in the project, believing in what we're doing, um, the support, and the boys just progressing year on as the, the, the competition goes on. All right, thank you, Coach. All right. Yeah, that's Coach Graham there. That's Coach Burke, actually, of Manchester. I'm joined now by Coach Graham of M Manchester. Coach, another win. Flawless group uh, stage. How does it feel? Uh, it is definitely it felt good. You understand? We would have put in the work from pre-season leading up to this moment. We know that we are approaching another round of the competition and we expect tougher challenges, really. So it is always good when we can finish off a round. And in terms of the performance today, was the fact that you went through already impacting the performance at all? Any lethargy there? Some, somehow that will play a factor, play a part in that. Um, you know that it is difficult after knowing that you have qualified. You know it is difficult to get the team again refocus to you know to believe that the, the competition as we know it is not finished and to go again. But um, we know that it is a part of the game. We know that it is a part of the process, and we you know we are happy that we were able to pull off this one. Well, another unbeaten group stage, as we said. Coach, does the lack of competition in the group stage hurt your boys at the end of the campaign in the latter stages, semi-final and onwards? I wouldn't say lack of competition, you understand, because this is the Dakasta Cup. You understand, every team that we have here, I want to believe that play at their level. So we have different levels to compete at, so I wouldn't say that there is a lack of competition. You understand, we just have to play the team that we have in front of us. Um, in terms of last season, the semi-final, uh, we would have played against Central. We lost to Central, but you can see that losing to Central, we played them two times. You understand? And, um, both times prior to the, the third time, we drew those games. So I don't believe that definitely uh, soft teams are in the competition. Yeah, got you, coach. Thank you. All the best. All right, thanks, coach. Yeah. Thank you.